Welcome to Epstein Becker Green's Employment Law This Week podcast. I'm George Whipple. Increasingly, we're seeing federal agencies push the boundaries of their authority as a matter of policy. This has led to an uptick in challenges to that authority, focusing both on the agency actions and on the agency structure itself. On this week's show, we'll look at this push and pull from an employment perspective. Federal agencies began 2024 with several major actions to expand their authority. In January, the U.S. Department of Labor tested the limits of the agency's administrative powers with its final rule for differentiating employees from independent contractors under the Fair Labor Standards Act. Not only does this mark a return to the Obama-era six-factor analysis test, it expands it further. That rule is set to go into effect March 11th. On February 9th, OSHA sent its final rule on worker inspections to the White House, marking a return to a prior OSHA position on this issue. This is the final step in that process. The rule would allow union members to represent workers on walkarounds during OSHA inspections. And the NLRB recently ruled that basketball players attending Dartmouth College are employees and therefore have the right to be represented by a union. As federal agencies attempt to expand their authority, employers, trade groups, and politicians have pushed back on those expansions. The DOL's worker classification rule is facing multiple court challenges, as well as a request from House Republicans for the Labor Department to withdraw the rule. In a related matter, a district court in Texas has temporarily blocked a similar new rule issued by the NLRB from taking effect. And several large employers have commenced lawsuits arguing portions of the National Labor Relations Act are unconstitutional. While challenges in the lower courts could slow the spread of federal agency authority, A Supreme Court ruling that narrows or eliminates Chevron deference could mean drastic changes in this area. Chevron establishes agency authority to interpret statutes beyond their text. The doctrine is currently under Supreme Court review. Check out our January 31st episode for a detailed rundown of the issues at stake. If Chevron is overturned, decisions on ambiguous statutes could be made by the courts and not by the agencies. We'll keep watching this developing story as it unfolds. That's it for this week. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. This podcast is presented by Epstein, Becker & Green, PC. All rights are reserved. This audio recording includes information about legal issues and legal developments. Such materials are for informational purposes only and may not reflect the most current legal developments. These informational materials are not intended and should not be taken as legal advice on any particular set of facts or circumstances, and these materials are not a substitute for the advice of competent counsel. The content reflects the personal views and opinions of the participants. No attorney-client relationship has been created by this audio recording. This audio recording may be considered attorney advertising in some jurisdictions under the applicable law and ethical rules. The determination of the need for legal services and the choice of a lawyer are extremely important decisions and should not be based solely upon advertisements or self-proclaimed expertise. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the quality of legal services performed by other lawyers.